วันนี้พี่คณะนะคะชวนรุ่นน้องมหาวิทยาลัยมหิดลมาพูดคุยเป็นภาษาอังกฤษกันค่ะวันนี้ต้อนรับน้องแชมป์ค่ะสวัสดีค่ะ It's gonna be English conversation. So first, can you please introduce yourself okay, a little so bit? My name is Cham. Okay, and currently I'm the third year student from the Faculty of Science and the major of Industrial Mathematics and Data Science. Very interesting. Long, Very long name. A long name. Very yes. long name. <laughs> it, it looks cool so, already. Yes. Oh, fang alai na, fang ni hang. Oh, but what do te la? Yes. <laughs> okay, so what's it about when you're studying Industrial Mathematics and, and data, data Science? science. Oh. So mainly we learn about them. Mathematics, mm -hmm. statistics, and also programming. These three will be a basic for the other course related to the optimization and data science skill. What do they do? So in our world, they keep the, everything as a form of data, right? Mm -hmm. So the same as the organization and the company that they contain a lot of the data. I mean, a huge size of data. So that's called big data. The data scientist is uh, the one who uses big data mm -hmm. for like, analyze, process, mm -hmm. model, and they interpret the result to mm -hmm. create some actionable plan for a company. And so you learn everything in English? Yes, totally in English. And the professors, Atan, are also like foreigners and Thai? Yes, they also have a foreigner and Thai. But even a Thai lecturer, they will teach us in English, just according to the university regulation, international program. How about the learning environment? Do you get to speak English outside of the classroom as well? Yes, I would say uh, because they are, as I say, that they are foreigner lecturer. Mm -hmm. So if you have a question or sometimes you need to talk to them, you just you can talk with them. And even if a Thai lecturer, mm -hmm. they also speak to you in English. I see, I see. Is it hard to learn everything in English? Um, it's not that hard at all because I'm from the bilingual school. Ah. I need to learn in English and Thai. So mm -hmm. when I moved to university, so I just like I cut off my Thai part. Oh. Uh, so that is not a big difference at all. Okay. So, but it doesn't mean I'm very good at it, you know, just I'm used to it. What are some of the examples of the future career path that you may be like pursue in the future? Okay, so actually when you learn this, you can apply all the knowledge that you have learned to many careers. Mm. But right now, the most uh, career that is highly demanded is a data scientist. Ooh, it's really cool. So are you planning to become a data scientist? Uh, well, actually, because right now it's quite well known, you know, mm. and in Thai, I think it's not much people who are become this data scientist oh. is needed. Okay, okay, so it's like a lot of organization needed. Yes. Um, so it would be a good opportunity for you. Yes. Uh, because you learn everything in English, is it possible for you to work abroad? Yes, I believe. Because for my information that I know, there are some Thai people who work foreign country mm -hmm. and there are a lot of university that are offer this field in this field of study. If you are willing to go, maybe you need to uh, find um, if some more information. Mm -hmm. Were there alumni from your major or from this faculty who have worked abroad? Uh, actually, according to the curriculum in the third year, you can choose whether you will uh, study abroad in Australia oh. in third year, yes. Or okay. you continue your study in Mahidon University. Okay, yes. that's nice. Yes. How about like, let's say for Nong Nong who are deciding, oh, maybe it seems like interesting choice, interesting yes. major. What would be some of the, like a list or checklist for them to really check if this would be the right major for them? So, well, uh, you need to like mathematics and statistics because, you know, it's quite used a lot of this knowledge. Mm. So it doesn't really matter much what, how much basics you have. Yes. You can learn, but yes. as long as you have uh, your passion. Yes. Uh, but for make sure that you can live with it. Okay. Because <laughs> it's going to be yes. a lot. โอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเ
Last but not least, do you have any advice for Nong Nong, our younger generation, who are still deciding and not sure whether uh, should I go for this major or this major, and still finding their own ways to go about this? When people are always not not sure what they are like or not, but they will know exactly when the thing that they are not like. So that is my advice. You just cut your choice and see what is left. Maybe you don't need to like. มั่นใจแบบร้อยเปอร์เซ็นต์บางทีเราไม่ต้องแบบเราไม่ต้องแบบรู้ว่าแบบเราชอบอะไรมาแต่แรกแต่แบบเราอยากจะค้นหาในจุดจุดนี้ even though uh, in the end is not is not you so that's fine so mm. it's as l e a d you try and have experience and get some knowledge I would say for sure for sure you don't need to have everything figured out from the yes. very start yeah yes. you can always discover more yes. of what But you could do for some who let Plan for themselves already. So go for it. Mm. I would say yes. Go for it, 100%. Yes. All right. Yeah.